right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is you too. This is Pastor Dowell, and this is... Pastor Joe Fox. From So Far Mountain. We are here, and of course, you know, we, we had plenty of conversation, extensive dialogue about a, a lot of things spiritually that's going on. And you know what's ironic? What's ironic is, is that we all have the same testimony. We have a few brethren here that's come from uh, different home fellowships, um, different assemblies, um, and different communities. Uh, and it's amazing what the Father has done within the last year or so. Yes, uh, we was talking about the peace, yes, the sir, peace the shalom, shalom, the the shalom, shalom that we had here. Um, and we began to talk about the, um, the establishment of the patriarchal order, but more than anything about the purging of a particular spirit that is mentioned mm. with the church of Thyatira over in the book of Revelations, which just happened to be the Jezebel spirit. So, Pastor Fox, before I go ahead and start sharing my experience here mm. at Straightway, uh, I heard that you have gotten wind of, and had information in reference to another pastor who has no affiliation whatsoever at all with us, but apparently he has also been dealing with the same thing, and he had some extraordinary amount of numbers, and then his numbers also diminished as yes, well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, can you go into a little detail and explain to us exactly what they were dealing with as well? Right, I can. Uh, I met a pastor last six days, so not even a, a week ago now, and uh, he was out at Shofar Mountain. Never met him before. He did not know who I was. I seriously doubt he knows who Pastor Dowell is. He's, he's following the way, but he's in a different group of people. And anyway, we were sitting around at Shofar Mountain discussing a, a variety of things, mm -hmm. and he brought up, I asked him about his congregation. I said, hey, how big is your congregation? And he goes, well, it was 75-ish until about three weeks ago, and now it's about 25. And I'm like, well, what happened? And he, because I want to know. And he's mm -hmm. like, well, I started preaching about, I, I said three weeks ago, three months ago. He said, I started preaching about a Jezebel spirit, and they didn't like it, and they left. And the women led their men away from, from the mm. church. And then I came here, and? Same testimony, <laughs> same thing. Because for about six to eight months, um, somewhere towards the end of 2013, the beginning of 2014, uh, those of you who have been watching extensively the uh, online that's church broadcast, you know I've been hitting on the Jezebel spirit really, really hard pounding it. And there is, in essence, really, truly have been a purging uh, process that's been going on for quite some time. Yes, sir. Uh, as the most high, y'all is getting us ready for the next order or the next step in this spiritual walk. Uh, because he has to have obedient people, people who are sensitive to his spirit, um, who, who will obey him going forward. And, and I would tell you here that um, the shalom that has been here at Straightway since we've had that purging of that particular spirit has been utterly amazing. Um, and I, There you know, is no tension here. You know, I've been here many, many times, right? and, I, and I always do comment on the peacefulness. We hold Straightway up as our model. Mm -hmm. right? We make people who want to come to Shofar Mountain come to Straightway to, to see what it's supposed to be. And yet and still, when we've been here, there has been a current. Exactly. Under current mm -hmm. in the past, and we came here this time, and it's lovely. Lovely. And I'm noticing this too, Pastor. You know, the Most High has been gathering His saints in greater numbers over the last about two or three years, mm -hmm. and at the same time, He's gathering them. And I think you know the analogy I use is He's putting them through a sifter. Right. right. And He's like, okay, nope, yep, nope. And and really, it's up to us. You know, are we going to submit our spirit to his spirit? True. And, and it trickles down to everything. And so we're seeing a gathering, but we're seeing a refining. Exactly. I agree 100% because um, we've had a, a lot of people um, exit, which is fine and good with us because whatever the Most High God does, we're fine with it. Amen. We're totally fine with it. But the peace... Um, the love, the tranquility that we're all experiencing. And even this year, the gathering of the saints is actually a little bit smaller uh, than the normal gatherings that we would have, but the, the, the spirit of peace. Right. And you know, here. we talked to another brother today, which I, I don't know if you want to name it, it doesn't matter, but he's in another totally different congregation. That's right. And he said, hey, we just had the same thing. We preached on the Jezebel spirit. We mm -hmm. watched your videos on the Jezebel spirit. We talked about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we made it an issue. Mm -hmm. Bam, what happens? People leave. And then what happens? No more tension. So. Now, you know what's amazing about it? Because, uh, you know, we do not ever solicit for anybody to give to the ministry and stuff. That's something that is all you've been preached enough um, in the religion of Christianity to know what you all to do. Um, but but you know what's amazing with all this purge and everything that's going on is that our offerings have actually increased rather than decreased because you're being obedient. Exactly. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful body, a wonderful group of people. Pastor Fox is always my brother. It's always good seeing you. You too, sir. No, I love you dearly. Uh, and we hope that some way, somehow, if you have the ears to hear, 
that you can actually follow and discern the type of spirit that we're talking about. Now, we're going to be on tomorrow morning um, at www.online-church.org uh, for Shabbat service. Pastor Fox is going to be delivering a message. And I'm trying to determine right now if we're going to make it available as far as doing the, um, uh, the healing and showing it over the camera, not in the deliverance. Um, and we'll we'll talk about that and yes, see sir. see what it goes on. But tonight, rather than blog talk radio, um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually broadcast live from the tabernacle. Wow. We're going to have a kind of like a question answer period. And and what we're going to do is try to um, cover some ground so we don't have to spend much time um, in mass deliverance and and right after Pastor Fox gets finished delivering the message, so we can get right on in to doing what the, the Most High Y'all created us to do, which was to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. So hey. Y'all, um, we'll, we'll, we'll call it, let's say, what, what time did we set on? Five o'clock? I thought we said six. Six o'clock. Okay, six yes, o'clock. So 6 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight, um, www.online-church.org will be broadcasting live, and you'll hear the questions. You'll hear us give the answers um, to, in reference to what's going on spiritually. Uh, we'll, we're going to provide you solutions. We're just not going to address the problems. We're going to give you answers, give you solutions in order that you can live a victorious life uh, and be a benefit, not only to yourself, but others in the kingdom. So we can uh, let everybody in this world see what the Most High is talking about, the Messiah is talking about, when he says, by, all, by this, all men shall know that you are my disciples by the love that you have one for another. So he's going to confirm the word with signs following, and we're just happy, elated, and ecstatic to be in the ministry, be in the way. Amen. With that said, we bid you shalom.